Welcome to UPD TV. I'm Raina Peem and I'm going to tell you why you should never be afraid to reinvent yourself. Okay, so as well as well as catering, I worked full time as a figure model at basically all the art schools in New York City, which was an amazing experience. My friend Lex told me, shout out to Lex, I love him so much. Um, he told me, he said, you know, you, you're a very free person and you enjoy, you, you're not ashamed of being nude. I think you should just model for art schools. He dropped me off to the audition and long story short, I got in and I just started to model nude and in costume for art students because I, I enjoyed doing it. At the time of me modeling, I had a boyfriend who is amazing, another person that really showed me how to discover myself and my own individuality and he fostered more of me dressing like myself and having that expression reflect my inner self and after we broke up, I was in the laundromat trying to just make sense of the whole situation. Why, why was this person in your life? Why did they go? Why did you guys break up? What happened? Why are you so traumatized by it? And what is happening in your brain now? So I'm in the laundromat and I'm writing, 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 and I don't even know why I'm writing. I'm just, I just chose to go to the laundromat with a pen and a paper. And I'm, I began to just think, you know what? Okay, how can I help people? If I were to think of an acronym that could possibly empower someone what would that be and and I wanted it to be very powerful when I said it so I'm writing a whole lot of like random things just just getting my thoughts out and I come up with a pain all power is in me at first I came up with all power is in me then I wrote it down as an acronym and I said oh my god this a pain sounds amazing it sounds peaceful and it sounds like something that I would want to hear if I was going through something so this is not only something that I would say to people to in, empower them but this kind of became my brand at the same time. And while I was thinking of a team, all power is in me, I actually began to embody it. And I really cannot describe to you in any form of words with this, the mental shift that happened whenever I realized all power is in me, my whole being changed. I'm in the laundromat and I was just like, yeah, all power actually is in me. I actually do have the power to manifest my world. Everything I do is a direct result of where I came from, but how I react to where I came from, what I think and what I do and what I think is possible in the words that I speak. So around the same time as the awakening, I had, an, besides me writing and being a vision and going outside, I had, I was living two different kind of lives, I would say. The life that I was outside of the house and life that I was, the life that I was inside of the house. And the life that I was inside of the house kind of read this because whenever I was in the house, I was still dealing with the roommate situation and where I was living and the fact that none of it was really aligning. I've just rebirthed into this new character and this new person and my physical world did not reflect that yet. So I believe that me painting this pieces was a way to kind of like create my way out of that journey and covering, just covering up. Um, I was smoking weed, almost every single day and drinking almost every single day, which is probably something I'll talk about in, in, on another platform. And I would go to the corner and I would go talk to this tourist, older bartender guy named Danny. And this was on the same block as where I lived at. And I would go to him, I would just have like one drink and he would say, your money's no good here. And he would just, just give me drinks and not let me pay for them. So because of that, I would go home just drunk, to be honest, very drunk and very high. And I would replay my childhood and replay my life and I would just paint until four in the morning. And this was just almost every night. I mean, four hours of painting. When everyone else is at the club, I would be at home and just painting. And for me, each piece represents a different journey in my life. And all of these pieces are all entitled, untitled journey because I don't believe in labeling. I don't like the idea of putting things into categories. And each piece represents a different part of me and the reason why they're just, the reason why they look the way they do is because each line represents a new journey to me and, or a new path. So whenever you think of a path, you think of like, you know, a road going somewhere. So I chose these lines to represent a different part of me in a different lifetime, whether it's past, present, or future, and representing the different obstacles and different challenges and different roadblocks and me taking it going this way but the idea is that there are these lines but I'm controlling the lines no one's painting them for me hi my name is Raina Peem you can find me at paleapeem.com 
That is P-A-L-A-I-S-A-P-I-I-M.com and my Instagram and all my other information is there to find me and to do custom orders for jewelry. And do not forget to like and subscribe to this video.